Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am bringing you on quite an eventful week in my life. So as you may or may not have noticed, I have braces. Yeah, I have braces on my top teeth. I have officially started my adult braces journey. So that is definitely part of this vlog, but I also just wanted to bring you along this week so you could see what books I'm reading, how I'm celebrating in preparation for spooky season and just hang out with you guys. So if that sounds interesting, then let's just go ahead and get into it without further ado. Welcome to this week in my life. It is currently Monday. It is going to be a pretty uneventful week in the terms of like plans. Josh and I don't really have any plans this week in terms of places to go, people to see. We're just kind of going to be home. On Wednesday, I have an orthodontist appointment and I'm going to be getting braces. I'm getting adult braces. I had braces back when I was in middle school all the way up until I graduated high school. And obviously I didn't fucking wear my retainer because now my teeth are crooked. Yeah, anyway, we'll get more into that on Wednesday. But yeah, I just thought it would be a fun week to bring you along with. So I just filmed about four ASMR videos. So the grind never stops. It's Monday. We're back on it. And it is currently about 4 p.m. And I'm just waiting for my brother Joseph to come over. If you guys don't know, me and my brother Joe do a podcast called Sherbal Siblings. It has a YouTube channel. We post all of our episodes over there. So go check it out in the description box. But yeah, he's coming over. We haven't filmed an episode in like a month. So we're gonna film an episode and I need to eat something. So let's make some lunch. Oh, oh. Let's make some lunch, shall we? This is literally gonna be the laziest lunch ever because I don't have a lot of time. The other day I found the creamy salsa dressing from Chick-fil-A at like Smith's or something. I love this dressing. If they had avocado lime ranch, I would have lost my mind. Lunch is secured. I made a little chipotle chicken salad. Ooh, I'm spilling. Lettuce, chicken, carrots, onion, shredded cheese, and the creamy salsa dressing, and obviously some tortilla chips because I need a little bit of crunch in my salads. To drink, I'm having a Sunny D. Do you guys remember these? Did anyone else have these as a kid? I have not had a Sunny D since I was probably like 12, and I saw them at Target and I was like, wow, I need one. It's so nostalgic. It's so sweet. And then because I'm the type of bitch nowadays that needs to have a dessert with every single meal, I have some chili chews, sour worms. These are so fucking good. I actually think that chili chews might be, like I think they have perfected the candy to chamoy ratio. It's so good. I'm gonna eat my salad, sit here with Buki on the couch and probably watch some Love is Blind. I'm currently watching the new season and it's a fucking shit show. It's a shit show. CD player. We are now the proud owners of this Craig CD player. That's it. Came with the headphones, damn. Oh shit. And this is the only CD we have in the entire apartment. It's my original 2011 Justin Bieber CD. No, sorry, 2008. Let, let me come correct. It was definitely like 2008, um, but that's the only CD we have. Seven so. songs? Damn. It was the world used to be a simpler place. Yeah, I mean, that was his first ever album. Oh yeah, that hair really did something to me back in the day. It auto-played. I can hear it. It hurts my ears. Me. Plus it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you one time. See it spinning in there? Damn. Also, cool that you're wearing that t-shirt. If y'all remember, we actually made these shirts in high school in like 2017 and sold them. And some of my subscribers that may or may not still be subscribed, but probably unsubscribed by now, um, bought shirts and might own the Do No Enters t-shirt that Josh has on. 2017 exclusive. Anyway, I'm probably just gonna be a fucking vegetable for the rest of the day. So I will catch up with you tomorrow and maybe I'll let you know what I've decided to start reading this week. Okay, I'm cleaning my glasses on my new blanket I got from Target. Isn't it so cute? Hey vlog. So I am coming at you today with a little unboxing in between filming some videos and getting some work done. I got some packages in the mail and I don't really know what's in them. Literally have no clue what this is. Oh, 
my name's on this. <gasps> I have no idea what this is, but it came with a straw. So it's probably a cup of some sort. And bitch, I love a cup. I love a good cup. What is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, I know what this is. Oh my gosh, wait, I know exactly what this is. <gasps> It says Haley. This is from my best friend, Kenya. Kenya and I have been friends since we met essentially in first grade. And then we became like best friends in like fourth grade. And she was just a huge part of my childhood. And um, if I am correct, yes. Oh my gosh, it says, will you be my maid of honor? I will say I already she already asked me like in person if I would be her maid of honor and I said yes, this is just, and she told me that I had a little gift coming. So that's how I like knew that this was from her. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. To have and to hold your hair back. We've got a scrunchie. This is so cute, there's a hair clip. Oh, what my God. And it's perfect because, do you see how everything is like lavender? That's her wedding, one of her wedding colors. Oh my God. So yes, cats out of the bag, everyone. I'm a maid of honor and it's so cool, so exciting. I need to take a picture and send it to Kenya. <gasps> ah! Okay, that is such a fun little surprise. If any of you have ever planned a bachelorette party and you have any tips or advice, let a girl know. DM me on Instagram. I'm new to this. Cool. This next package is from Cotton On, so I know what's in here. It's clothes. Do I remember what clothes I bought? No. I know there's a pair of slippers though, and that's what I'm really excited about. I have been wanting UGG dupes, and I needed new ones because my old ones that I got off Amazon a few years ago, the soles had a hole in them by the end of last winter. So I needed some new ones, and I saw these on Cotton On's website. They're just like the platform slippers with like the fuzz, because I ordered the platform mini boots as like a dupe, uh, but then I was like, oh, but the slippers are so cute too, and they were like 30 bucks. So I got them. Then we have like the simple, seamless, soft lounge black t-shirt. It's just like a fitted black t-shirt, but it's like super soft and lightweight. It kind of gives me like skims material. And then I got a little set. So it's a two piece set and it matches. It's like this dark, dark gray. First you have this little scoop tank top. It's just a very loose, casual sleep set. And then the bottoms are in the same exact color and they have like the fold over waist and they're like a flare yoga pant. And I'm literally gonna go take a bubble bath right now and put this on and get in bed and live my best life. So that's my little haul. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hi guys. So it is not actually Tuesday, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday at 1.15 and I am currently late to my orthodontist appointment. I've just been riddled with anxiety over this appointment. I am just, it's bringing up a lot of emotions and traumatic experiences from when I had braces when I was younger. Just having a really, really bad anxiety flare up, but I'm on my way. I'm gonna be a few minutes late, but I'm going. I just wanted to update and say that hopefully I'll feel better when you see me next um, post brace application. It's just, it's hitting me that I'm gonna have it for like the next year and a half and I'm just like, oh, it's a lot. There's a lot of things going on, but I have to go to my appointment. Last little clip without braces and I'm crying. Love that for me. I'll see you later. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. It's cause I don't have makeup on right now. But every time I like, I literally feel like I'm like 15 again. Um, we ended up only doing the top ones today. As you can see, I got clear. The only thing you can see is like the, why am I, wire? The wire, there we go. Uh, I haven't hit on the bottom ones yet. We're gonna do the bottom ones in I think eight weeks because my overbite's really bad. So she was like, we wanna start moving the top teeth first. This, actually, they did the same thing, I believe, when I got my first set of braces. Like, they put 
one on before the other so that really wasn't that unusual it was so quick i told them that i was having a lot of anxiety and they were really nice about it and super reassuring and i actually like went out of my way and found an all-female orthodontics place in salt lake and so far my experience has been so much better i absolutely am really enjoying them so that's really great but anyway i'm feeling a lot less anxious i this is manageable we can manage this cool i am gonna go get me a little sweet treat as a reward um and go home and show josh but right now i feel fine i don't feel any soreness but usually when you get a new wire or you know back when i had braces pre usually it takes like until like usually the next day to like feel the soreness so we'll see how i'm feeling tomorrow but i'm gonna head home and i'll talk to you later hello everyone it has been a few hours I'm back home. I am no longer sober. I have self-medicated and I am no longer anxious. I also came home to a Sephora package, which I opened and was swatching as you can tell. And that definitely boosted my mood a little bit. Um, yeah, feeling a lot better. Throughout 8 p.m., Josh is currently working late and I am just watching a bunch of true crime stuff. Well, currently I'm watching a podcast about love is blind <laughs> but before that i was watching netflix i've been obsessed with netflix true crime like mini series i don't know why but i watched two of them today like in between while i'm like working folding laundry going to the gym like i'm just like watching <sighs> detecting y'all anyway i'm just gonna you know rot here on the couch I got a fresh Dr. Pepper and I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my evening. Tomorrow's Thursday, back to work. I will see you tomorrow. Where's the movie theaters? Can you guess what we're seeing? No, we're saying the Aero Store movie. Whoa! Yeah, we've got popcorn, sour candy, Dr. Pepper. Josh has his spicy tempura snacks and a Lacroix. Wow! Are you ready for it? Yes, I am taking my pee break during Shake It Off, okay? Don't look at me like that. I needed to pee. We are back from the movie. It was fun. It's very long. It's like three hours, but it was fun. Now I am literally just stationed here on the couch i've got my little pumpkin blanket i've got my heating pad stuffed animal and i'm just having some cramps so and i'm currently listening to an audiobook while i'm here i thought i would do a little reading wrap up of what i've been reading this week so this week i started hopeless which is the new chestnut springs book by elsie silver this is a fake dating or i'm sorry fake engagement He's like a scarred military hero and she grew up in like a very poor and unstable family. And yeah, I think I gave it 3.75 stars. So almost four stars. There are just a few things that I thought were a little bit cheesy or a little bit like repetitive and kind of cringy in the writing. And then I like wanted a little bit more angst and a little bit more like communication. It felt like everything kind of just like tied up too easily if that makes sense but either way the smut was smutting like this book was so spicy i think it's the spiciest in the series so yeah it was good i can't even lie i was eating up all of the spicy scenes but yeah i liked it and i'm so sad that the chestnut spring series is over but i'm still wanting more small town and i figured it might be fun to try like a romantic suspense because it's spooky season so i have just started this new book it's not new it's new to me 
It's Tattered Scars, I think is what it's called, by Catherine Cowles. It's the first book in the Tattered and Torn series. This is like a small town romantic suspense series. And so I'm like on chapter eight and I'm enjoying it so far, but I didn't realize when I went into it that the love interest, like the the guy is a cop. He's a sheriff and I just don't like cops, a cab. You already know, like I, that is not a trope that I enjoy. So I'm kind of just like trying to go through it quickly and get to the next book in the series. <laughs> is that bad? I don't know. It's just like an ick of mine. Like why he got to be a cop? Okay, hello everyone. I'm in between filming a few ASMR videos and I thought I would sit down and do a bit of a reading update and just a little vlog check-in. So yes, I actually ended up finishing. I got like 70% of the way through Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles and I ended up DNFing it. And I just think that this is definitely like a, it's not the book it's me situation i did not feel a connection to either of the characters everly or hayes i think was his name hayes was a sheriff and i don't know what it is i just like literally cannot swoon over a cop it doesn't matter how hard i try uh it just doesn't doesn't ever happen and then everly she was like a veterinarian she was super passionate about animals uh but i just i i really just did not connect to them and i thought i would be more interested in like the backstory the suspense the cult story the tension because her dad kidnapped his little sister and so there's like this tension between them in the beginning of the book and so i thought at least that would like see me through it and then they kind of like worked out their tension within like the first 20 percent of the book so i kind of got bored i don't know i just didn't connect with it so i dnf'd it and i can't lie i'm a bit scared that i might be entering a reading slump because there's been so many new releases this month but most of them have been disappointing or like most of the books i've been picking up haven't been like i guess meeting the expectation that i had set in my head so yeah i don't know but after that, I picked up Good Girl, Bad Blood. This is the second book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I didn't know if I was going to continue this series, but because I felt a slump coming on and because I just wanted something like quick, breezy, fast paced, I thought that this would be fun. I am currently, let me see, I'm on page 282. So I am actually nearing the end. I've only got a little bit left and I am enjoying it. I definitely think I liked the first book more in comparison, but we'll have to see, depending on how this one ends, like how it wraps up. But yeah, so this is my current read. I'm probably gonna finish this later today and I will let you know how it goes, but yeah. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm listening to it on audio. I think the audiobooks for this series are really, really great because there's a whole cast of people. The series follows a girl named Pip who starts like a true crime solving podcast. And so there's a lot of like interviews and mixed media and i think the audiobook does it really well like you can tell when it's like an audio recording and stuff so yeah if you're interested in the series i recommend checking it out on audio but anyway i'm gonna go continue reading this continue working still this is the first day that i have got ready and done like full glam since i got my braces <sighs> i don't know how i feel i like keep getting like flashbacks to like 17 year old me especially like the dark hair the braces like it's just bringing it's bringing a lot of that back but yeah i don't know how i'm feeling about the braces i'm still getting used to them i think it's gonna take like a few more videos where i'm like filming and editing and i get used to seeing myself on camera with braces it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get used to it but well i think that's it for my little life update so i will catch up with you guys later Okay, hey, it's been a few hours, so I have a bit of a reading update while my phone charges. I'm like 75% of the way done with Good Girl, Bad Blood, and I'm really enjoying it. It's getting quite juicy, but I think I might have guessed the plot twist. I think I, I think I know what happened. I think I know what's going on, so I don't know. It's like... If I guess what happens, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like a bad book. But for me, if I'm reading a thriller, if I'm reading a mystery, I don't want to guess early. I want it to be a complete shock. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll circle back once I've finished the ending of the book and we'll see if I actually did, if I did guess it or if I'm delusional. 
hey vlog okay so it's been a few hours it's like 6 p.m josh got home from work i finished filming for the day and we came to lagoon which is the amusement park here in utah i worked here as a teenager uh, but they just opened a new ride this year called Primordial and they are letting season pass holders come during off hours to ride it because right now the park's only open on the weekends for the fall season but anyway there's a new ride we're gonna go ride it there's a section of it it's back there we're just parked here waiting because our ride time isn't until like six so and then we're gonna go get some dinner it's gonna be so scary you think? I, don't, I still no. don't. I, I still don't it, know what primordial means. There was. We there, didn't even look it up. There was a construction 3D printed video, 3D printed video. Yeah, there's like a video, um, virtual like and video. We watched of the it. first like 10 seconds, and I got bored, and I don't remember watching the rest. So I don't know what it's about, but I think it's yeah. like a story, like a Disneyland has like those stories. You really think there's those characters? I think it's gonna be like Indiana Jones kind of. Primordial existing at or from the beginning of time. Yeah, so like the beginning of time. We're going back so to So like the dinosaurs, bitch. I don't know. What was at the beginning of time? Anyway, we probably just sound stupid because we don't know what the word promote. We whatever. We're gonna go ride the ride. It's gonna be so cool. Mama's eating good tonight. And Josh got loaded fries and fish and chips. We are home from dinner. Took off my makeup in bed. And I was chewing on a... Oh, there's stuff on my mouth. I already had my first bracket pop off. So I texted my orthodontist. Hopefully they'll see it in the morning. And I'm going to have to go get that fixed. Uh, but it's on my very, 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 very back tooth. So hate that for me. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is... The next day, I'm currently just finishing up my makeup, but I wanted to update the vlog and close it out. So last night after we got home, I finished Good Girl Bad Blood. I gave it a four star. I, I, I'm tempted to round it up to like a 4.5. I don't know. It was really, really fun. It definitely like wasn't like a five star feeling when I was reading it, but I really enjoyed it. I think I definitely preferred it to the first book. I think that the actual like plot and the mystery of this book was a lot better thought out and more interesting in my opinion, but it made me really, really want to read the third book. So I'm definitely going to put Good as Dead on my TBR. But yeah, that was fun. Definitely a fun little spooky read. If you're wanting to start into mystery and thrillers, I think this is a great YA series to pick up. It's so fun. I mean, even if you're like a thriller fanatic, I think they're still really, really fun reads. But I just think as someone that doesn't read thrillers that much, these have been great. And don't let the fact that they're YA scare you because they actually touch on like quite mature topics and they're super well thought out and you know they're not they're not like childish even though Pip is in high school I feel like she is very like level-headed and she's I don't know I love Pip I am a Pip stan account and I'm actually so excited for the tv show like now that I'm two books into the series like <laughs> the tv show I'm I can't wait yeah that is the reading updates of the week and then after that I was laying in bed, winding down for the evening, ready to fall asleep, and I was just chewing on a piece of gum. And my bracket popped off. It's just a little bracket on the very, very, very back tooth. If you know, I have been struggling with anxiety the past few months. I actually had a doctor's appointment this morning 
a zoom appointment which kind of ended up being perfect timing because last night i think because my bracket broke it just caused a bit of an anxious like flare up and I, my stomach was just uh, not happy. I could not sleep. I was tossing and turning and I've just, I've been up since 3 a.m. When anxiety like translates into physical symptoms, that's when I just get so defeated. So I just moved to the couch and I was just laying there listening to my audiobook and rotting on the couch basically. Update, it is 5.40 a.m. I don't know. I'm having, my stomach is just like not happy with me. I've just been on and off the toilet ever since I got up at like three. So I'm out here on the couch now. Got some water. <sighs> Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Sylvester came and he was snuggling with me and that was really nice. I could think, I think he definitely could tell that I was like not feeling the best. So that was cute. When I'm anxious, I am so so bad at distracting myself if i need to fall asleep like during the day i can keep myself busy i can like listen to an audiobook i can listen to asmr i can like watch a show i can do something with my hands but if i'm falling asleep i can't fall asleep with like the tv on or something playing i have to turn everything off to like fully go to bed and so it's really hard for me to like distract myself if i'm having anxious thoughts when i'm falling asleep if that makes sense. And then after my Zoom appointment, it went well. I like talked to my doctor and we're actually gonna like up my anxiety meds. <laughs> so hopefully that makes a difference. Um, and then I might also even look into starting therapy if things get worse. I think right now I'm just having a lot of flare ups this week. This week in particular has been really rough because of the braces. I think it's just like getting used to this lifestyle change. And I think the more appointments I go, the longer I have them the less anxious it will make me feel hopefully in the long term but if it doesn't i'm always up to you know going back to therapy or whatever else because we're not being anxious y'all we are taking care of our mental health hopefully you're doing the same but yeah anyway that's it it was kind of a little bit of a rough night um now it's like 2 p.m and i'm like i'm trying to turn it around i'm trying to turn it around and be in a better mood but this is just just a reminder that you know dealing with any sort of mental health issue like you're not gonna have good days every day it's not linear some days are gonna be worse than other days and last night into this morning was definitely not one of my best days i just think anything involving my braces or dental work just gives me a lot of anxiety it, it makes me super anxious from my childhood so it's just something that we have to work through. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this week in my life. It was kind of a mess. Like it was honestly all over the place. It has been an anxious mess. I got braces, we read some books. Either way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for providing an ear and just listening to me bitch and moan about my braces and books and whatever else I truly truly appreciate it i hope you know that i'm sending you so much love and light and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye